anybody who wants to reject Christianity is going to is liable to become communist in the modern context. So Marcuse is communist likewise because amongst other things those people who I dare not name I shall immediately be accused of being anti-Semitic. Those people uh, hate our Lord Jesus Christ for 2,000 years. They crucified him and they've ever since wanted to crucify his church. That's not, of course, applied to all of them. Some of them are very honourable and gifted people. They're all gifted. The Lord God was, was watching over that people and <coughs> castigating them, punishing them, rewarding them for 2,000 years. For instance, the Babylonian captivity in the Old Testament. Uh, so they are gifted and they've not lost their gifts. And they rise to the top. As, as if they're not checked, they will automatically rise to the top in journalism, in music, in politics, in uh, e universities. You name it, they're gifted, they will rise. Um, and the influence that they will exert is normally against Christianity. So, anybody who is uh, uh, wanting to get away from Christendom, to get away from Jesus Christ, they're liable to take the path opened up by these people, which, especially by Karl Marx, from about the 1840s. The, the, the Communist Manifesto was 1840. The difference between socialism and communism is that socialism has become kind of more moderate. Uh, it, communism began, I, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, communism began under the name of socialism, but uh, it's the, so, the, the original socialists did not immediately drive communism to its, its logical, violent conclusions. But later, the socialism and communism divided insofar as socialism was more moderate, less extreme, communism was extreme. Uh, therefore, the communists are violent revolutionaries, the socialists share the same basic principles as, as the communists, the socialists gave their, their basic principles to the communists, but the socialists today, uh, socialism today describes uh, non-violent communists, communists are violent socialists, more or less. In any case, the key principle is, interestingly enough, to abolish private property. Why abolish private property? Because property, because Leo XIII goes into it in Rero Navarum and he says, um, man's, man is designed by God to live with the nature of God. Man is designed to work the land. Man naturally will work the land. And he needs his own piece of land to work. If it's not his own piece of land, he won't be so motivated and he won't take such care of it. As the communists always keep discovering. Communism economically is a busted flush before it starts. Communism in, the, in Russia between 1917 and 1989, when the Berlin Wall fell, was rescued by Western finance about six different times. If the financiers of that same race in New York had not bailed out and bailed out and bailed out of Soviet communism, it could not have lasted the time it lasted. It was, communism was saved by the West. The West exported its factories, exported its weapons, exported its, its dollars to Soviet Russia in order to make sure that Soviet Russia would continue. And that's the doing of the, what I might call <coughs> the anti-Christians. Not all of those people are anti-Christian. Some of them, when they convert, make very fine Catholics. For, for the reason given by St. Paul in the Epistle to the Romans. They are being grafted back onto their own vine. The vine of the Catholic Church was originally Jewish. Our Divine Lord, His Mother, the Twelve Apostles, uh, St. Joseph of Arimathea, and so on and so on. Or Joseph of Arimathea. Uh, Saint Joseph, the foster father of our Lord, all of them Jewish, all of them formed by the Old Testament. And our Lord was careful to obey in every detail the Old Testament 
until the New Testament was inaugurated at the moment when our Lord died on the cross. The moment when our Lord died on the cross, the, he, 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 the testator 